But a local level, Warsing is really modeling a planning approach for the future that's not only going to help people through tourism and the economy, it's not only going to help wildlife by having intact habitat, but it's also going to help the community be resilient to climate change. This is beautiful. We're going to be meeting with John Adams, who is a resident of Warsing, and he's a farmer. When did you recognize that this area was so important? Well, we see a lot of wildlife. Turkeys, black bear, deer, of course. This is an important area as a wildlife corridor between the Catskills and the Shongams. There are certain species of wildlife that really rely on connections in the land to move about. So we're trying to prevent development from severing connections in nature. This used to be a dairy farm, which was run by the New York State Department of Corrections. And the farm, which has not been in use for 10 years now, makes a beautiful land bridge between Minnewaska State Park and uh, the Vernoykill State Forest and the Catskill Park beyond it. A critical environmental area, or a CEA, is a designation that a local agency can put on land of unique or exceptional value. I grew up on a farm on the other side of the ridge. The lay of the land is very similar, and I think deep inside, that's what really touched me. What is required to establish a CEA is for a community to first know what it prioritizes. They need to document why it's important and map the area. We discussed the uh, designation of two critical environmental areas in the town. It's relatively easy, but you need to take an inventory and see what you have and do an open space plan and you have to get it approved by the town board and it has to have a public hearing, then it gets approved. The area is critical because it could be an area to buffer the effects of climate change. It's a beautiful area, and I think we're really on the right page. Cedar Swamp is about 8,000 acres. It's actually one of the largest complexes of its kind in the Casco region. Oh, wow. It's exciting that the town is acknowledging that by including it in the open space plan and also adding this critical environmental area designation. It will help prevent flooding because the wetlands will absorb some water during heavy rains. And it will also help with the water supply because it will hold some water during dry seasons and which will continue to park into the ground. I mean, the last few summers have been very rainy, which I think there's been a lot of flooding, um, a lot more flooding than I remember. They all got the message that the environment is important. Yeah. <clears throat> without, without clean water, there's no sense being here. I think the locals always recognized that the natural beauty of the area was important, not only for environmental reasons, but for um, economic reasons as well. Colony Farm is right in the middle, which could be a potential economic resource if we can open it up to the public and get in some agritourism. Mm -hmm. This town board, I know it's, it's bipartisan. I think everyone's on the same page because they've recognized what they have and they don't want to lose it. We find that some communities are taking action because they've enrolled in the Climate Smart Communities program. In this case, what we're saying already was taking these kinds of steps. So we're actually exploring with them the idea of maybe they could take the Climate Smart Community pledge. That'll increase their opportunity to get funding, to get technical assistance, and to even become more resilient. We're talking about becoming a Climate Smart Community, so I'm hoping we can continue to, to work in that direction. I would love to see all of the communities in the Hudson Valley 
taking similar approaches to what Worsing has done. All contributing to a valley that has large forests still here, has huge wetland complexes, has streams that are able to flow freely. I mean, it's irreplaceable. It's irreplaceable, it is. Climate Smart Communities is a certification program that provides guidance and funding support for local municipalities. Conserving natural habitats is just one action that communities can take to adapt to climate change.